Need to keep our eyes peeled for more of the, uh... Oh yeah, look at that, killing the giant tortoise right there. You guys remember when the giant tortoise was, like, actually a threat? <laughs> and I'm not, like, bragging or anything like that right now, but, like, it's nothing. At least these days, so that's good. We got, like, such good weapons and stuff. Is that, uh, no. We got unholy arrows right there. I forget what those were, like, the, uh, the benefit of that. But I might as well continue adventuring around here. To oh, whoa, we hit the underground granite. Yeah, see, look, look, there's, like, no light at all over here. Oh, what in the world? Oh, the bombs right there. <laughs> those are my spiders that came over here, too. I can barely see, but my light pit is actually able to light- Oh, and here's that golem thing again. But, uh, yeah, my light pit is able to light up a little bit over here, which isn't too great, but, like, it's better than me. Oh, and there's a, uh, life crystal. Remember, we could use those to make those heart lantern things, so... I guess we'll still grab those whenever we find them, right? Oh, what is that thing? Gladiator breast. I don't know what that... Oh, I think I saw some more, uh, chlorophyte right there. Hold on. Uh, yep. There's some more chlorophyte right there. Th yep, there you go. Boom. Nice. Man, I have a good eye. Even though it's, like, pitch black, I can barely see right now. Oh, is that a... Yeah, it's one of those things that... No, 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 no. That, does... that one does not drop the ecore things. Uh, that was just another creature I saw in the underground. Uh... Man, look at all these things around me right now. There's so many things trying to kill me. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. I'm getting some Soul of Night, though, so that's pretty good. Oh, and there's uh, some more Soul of Night right there. Let's grab that. Oh, man, I can barely see. Is there... I thought there was something attacking me right there. I was, I was just like, oh man, it's I can, I can see so well under underground for some reason, but nope, I can't really see too well. <laughs> I've got so what is happening? Why does it keep bouncing me around? Hold on, let's get this floor fight right there, nice. Let our spiders take care of those enemies. There you go, more chlorophyte. So what are we up to right now? We're up to 46 chlorophyte ore right there. Uh, I didn't look at what the, the trade-off was of uh, oh we need six? No, on PC, for some reason, on PC, you only need five Chlorify ore to get a Chlorify bar. But on literally every other, like, thing, you need, uh, was it six? So, that's kind of weird. What is all this stuff? Like, the background just looks really weird. Oh, we got the underground, like, uh, the thing that our goblin guy was from. Ooh, look at this. Interesting, although, oh, and then there's Crimson there, so that's not good. I wonder if there are any life fruits just hanging out around here. Probably not, honestly. You need to keep my eyes peeled for those, because you can you can easily miss them if you're not looking for them. Oh, another Grand Elemental. I remember those things gave us a pretty good amount of money back in the day. Are we still down? Oh, two silver. Not too crazy there, but... Oh, yeah, look at all the Soul of uh, Night that we're getting right here. Oh, oh, look at that. Rattles Magoo. We found the Skeleton Guy again. Green Counterweight. Don't need that anymore. Format C. We don't need that anymore. Yo-Yo Glove. Oh, yeah, we already had that, and we upgraded it to the Yo-Yo Bag, right? I think so. Bone Torch. Uh, I don't think anything over here is good, necessarily. If anything, I'll sell them stuff. Uh, six defense. I guess I'll keep it just right now. Life crystal. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to get. Oh, I have all my heckin' soul of the whatever else over here. I do not want to be carrying that around just randomly. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, let's grab all the soul of night and stuff over here, and I guess we'll go on our merry way. Possibly back to... Oh my god, I just picked up a ton of stuff right there. Sheesh. Possibly, uh, back to the actual jungle area. So we kind of, like, went off path over here, honestly, so... Kind of turn around here. Oh, wait, hold on. There's some uh, chlorophyte right there. It's kind of getting lit up a little bit. Hold on. There's some granite. Let's go over here. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Getting some. Yeah, look, look at that range right there. It cannot reach that, unfortunately. So that's like some stuff right there. Unfortunately, the big, like, the the physical thing there is kind of blocking my path. I can't really see if I'm mining the right thing or not. And I can, yeah, I can do some damage to things. If I am getting attacked, I can attack back. I, yeah, see, I can't even tell that there was a block blocking me right there. Ah, but there we go. Yeah, we're getting a ton of this chlorophyte right now. I guess we can go home, perhaps, and smelt it real quick. Because we're not really... T if we want to come back here, it's not too bad. We just go back to our jungle pylon and then move a little bit. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, we do have the, uh... Whatever it's called. The thing that, that, that shows ores and stuff nearby. If we want to... Oh, there's that golem thing again. It, 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 it shows valuables in general nearby. So we do want to find those. We do want to get... That glow stick out, the Spelunker's glow stick, I think it was called. So that's definitely something to think about here in just a bit. But let's go back to the main. I get, I, you know what? Let's go home, and I guess we'll just see what we can make out of it, right? Because we do have a pretty good amount. We could probably get like, I don't know, I mean, we have 83 right now. We can get a pretty good amount of ingots from those. So those will get those. Boom, 16. That honestly is a pretty good amount. Like holy heck, chlorophyte arrows, 20 damage. Whoa! Oh, and we can get chlorophyte mask, headgear, helmet. Range damage. Ooh, so the chlorophyte stuff does. Oh, well, this one does melee. So I can get the helmet for range. I can get the mask for melee. And it does 20 defense. What's our current one do? 24, so it goes down a little bit. So that sucks. And then we have the shot bow, saber, claymore, and partisan. Ooh. 
and we have the arrows over there as well. And we can get bricks for some reason if we wanted those. And I can't afford. If I want, I, I might as well talk to uh, the guide Tanner and see uh, what else we can make out of the glorified bars because he'll show us everything. Because we won't have everything right now. Drill containment unit. Some as a rideable drill mount. Uh, turtle leggings. What? Turtle shell. We can get turtle armor. Only seven defense. That's pretty good. Uh, eight percent increased melee damage and critical strike chance. And enemies are also more likely to target. That's kind of what uh, this thing does right here. Hmm. But that also gives us eight defense on top of that. So I don't know. If, oh, we can, we can make the venom stuff now. Wait, hold on. Shoots a. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, this isn't like a little critter, is it? I don't think it is. It might be poison staff. Yeah, I don't think this is. I think it, I think it's like an actual like a magic thing that shoots a little poison uh, like projectile or whatever. I assume. But uh, oh, there's the chlorophyte drill. Eh, don't need to get that. Still has 200% uh, pickaxe power, so don't need that garbage. And I think it does less damage, 52 to uh, 55. Yeah, why would we need that? What? Why would I uh, downgrade to that? Glorified jackhammer? What? Oh, it's a, it's like, I guess it's like a mechanical version of the hammer. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. And of course, a war hammer, a shot bow, 42 compared to 66. Why would I? Is it me or like this stuff doesn't seem? Oh, true Excalibur. Excalibur and then 24. Ooh. I'm, I'm remember, I don't think I put it in my notes, but I am remembering, yeah, you guys said, hey, you should be able to make the Excalibur now, and then you can get the true Excalibur. Hold on. I'm also just looked that up over here, because I don't know how to get Tanner to talk about the Excalibur. Oh, man, Excalibur, whoa, I could almost make the true Excalibur, I just need 12, I can make the Halib uh, I can make the Excalibur right now. Ooh. Hold on, is there like a, yeah, I don't know, I think, I think, do you use true Excalibur to make that one thing? Yeah, you do. You put it up against the uh, the True Knight's Edge, and that gives you the Terror Blade. Ooh. So we'll be moving up on that. Uh... Oh, I can make the... Oh my gosh, I can make the True Knight's Edge as well, I think. I think I could afford it. Holy heck. Whoa, what? Can I make the Terror Blade, like, right now? Either that or I'm, like, really close. Hold on. Let's get the Hallowed Bars. Where are those at? There it is right there. We got 39 of those. We can make Excalibur right now, I think, right? Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff. Close that and then open this. There it is right there. Excalibur, 99 melee damage. It just needs to be really fast to be very comparable to it, you know? But we do have the Knight's Edge somewhere. Let's get the Excalibur. Boom. Let's get that. Now, where was the, uh, what was the true Knight's Edge I needed for that again? I need 20 of every thing. So I've got, uh, oh, I'm just one short of the Soul of Fright. You kidding me? I'm so close. I have the Knight's Edge over here somewhere, right? Where's that at? Uh... There, yeah, there is right there. I've got the Knight's Edge. And I'm just, I'm literally one soul of fright away. Well, we can do the battle. We have the, uh, the destroyer thing. We could do that battle right now if we wanted to, you know? And I may do that. And then we just need to get a little bit of Chlorophyte Bar, a little bit more of those. Uh, what was it, 24 that we needed? So we need to get, like, 40 more raw Chlorophyte or something like that? Because I think you get five to make one bar, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Oh, we have a little bit of Chlorophyte right there, so... Yeah, we just need to get a pretty good amount of those, and we'll be good to go. And then, uh, Hallowed Bars, might as well just put those back up inside the there. We're, we're really close to getting the, uh, the, the Terra Blade, that thing was called. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is crazy. I may just go mining again real quick to try and get more of that stuff. Or, you know what, maybe I'll do it on camera, just, you know, we'll find the jungle, uh, whatever's over there. But for right now, uh, it's 12-something p.m. Maybe I'll do a Destroyer battle. So, you know what, let's go get the Destroyer thing. Summoning items. Mechanical skull. There it is right there. Let's get that. And then uh, I suppose we'll do this battle. Uh, how do I make the holy arrows again? Oh, yeah. The pixie dust and the unicorn horn. I think we have... Oh, and actually, I don't, I don't know if we have enough pixie dust. Oh, yeah. We do have a lot of pixie dust and unicorn horn. I guess we could do that. So let's get some more of the holy arrows. Let's get some more wooden arrows in general because we have, like, none of those. There you go. We can make 25 wooden arrows at a time. And I guess we get, like, I don't know, like 500 of those. That sounds good to me. And uh, let's see if the holy arrows are here. Uh, there it is right there. Okay, I can make 200 at a time, so I might as well get another, uh, 100 or so of those wood arrows. There we go. And we can make another, we can have 600 in total, so let's do that. Boom, there we go. 600 holy arrows. Nice. Let's get those. What's this one? That's unholy arrow. Uh, I guess I ran out of the Ecor arrows, so I guess we'll, uh, make more of those here in a bit, but for right now, I think I'm going to go to bed real quick. Turn it to nighttime, but then when we come back, we can do the destroyer battle, so... Let me just fast forward time real quick until it's nighttime, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back. It is, uh, about to turn to night, and now I think it's technically nighttime, so that's good. So, let's go over here, let's spawn in the Mechanical Skull. I also have some Iron Skin Potion and, uh, the Pumpkin Pie and stuff. We'll take that one if we hit the letter B on our keyboard. So, we'll do that. 
And I also finally made the Endless Quiver. I saw that we had the Endless Musket Pouch, you know, whenever we run out of ammo for our guns, it will uh, automatically start using an endless supply of musket balls, which is pretty good. I kind of wanted to do the same thing for our, uh, like, our crossbows, our repeaters, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we have the Endless Quiver over here, only does 6 range damage, but it's endless, so never have to worry about, uh, oh, and by the way, I got my, my spiders here. You sit down, oh, a falling star right there, nice. Also, I think I said, yeah, we have a worm right there, too, so we can, we can catch that thing real quick and make a, there you go, make one of those worm guys. <laughs> the Enchanted Worm, or whatever it's called. So we can summon, uh, summon in the Mechanical Skull, we'll have the buffs. Let's place down this Flame Burst Cane, forgot about that, so there we go. I think we're pretty well, well set now to take on the, uh, the destroyer, or, uh, not the destroyer, but, uh, Skeletron Prime. Let's do it. So, boom, there you go, Skeletron Prime. Let's zoom out. Let's take our buffs. There he is. There he is. Hold on. Let's get him, uh, you know what? I, I kind of want to try out the Holy Arrows. How's this going to do? With the, with the stars coming down from the sky, shooting him with the, the Holy Arrows and the stars. Is this being really effective to him? Maybe. It seems like it. Remember, we do have the regeneration of the Heart Lanterns here as well, which is great. I'm not really seeing, like, what I'm actually hitting with that. Kind of want to hit him with some Ecor bullets. Re lower his defense. There you go. Hit him with some... Oh, and lower the defense of the, uh... Oh, is it lower the... If I just hit his skull, is it lower the defense of, uh... All of his limbs, too? I think it might. I'm hitting him right now with the Ecor. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's one limb. It looks like there's one limb that wasn't hit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you have to hit the, the individual limbs on their own, unfortunately. So that sucks. But does... Oh, I was using the wrong thing. I was using the, uh, the repeater. I need to use the Daedalus Stormbow for him with the Holy Arrows. That's that's a lot more effective, so there you go. That should be a little bit better. <laughs> We're hitting him with so many arrows and so many stars coming out of the sky. Holy. There we go. Aim straight down with all that stuff kind of grouped up in a line. That's great. Oh, my God. Well, the thing is that he keeps moving all over the... Oh, man, his, like, chainsaw or whatever that is is almost broken. That's great. Kind of want to hit him again with some... Uh, there we go. Lowers defense with some Ecor bullets. That's great. Let's get him again with some more uh, Daedalus Stormbow and Holy Arrow action. So there you go. He's spinning with a skull with spikes and stuff. So I do want to watch out for that. I think he lost one of his limbs. He's about to lose another one. That's great. Hold on. Let's try and... Oh, oh we just got hit. We just got hit. Let's try and go up in the sky. And then there we go. Everything's just kind of lined up right there with the Daedalus Stormbow. So that's good. We have 35 more Ecor bullets we could use here. Lower his defense of his skull. And he still has a laser shooter thingy right there we need to watch out for, so here we go. Start raining down stars and other arrows on top of him and his limbs here. Oh, and maybe I could even go below our uh, boss arena here. Ooh, I don't know if it penetrates through the, the boss arena and stuff, though. I need to watch out for that. Whoops, that's one thing. Lowers defense a little bit more. There we go, hit his uh, vice. Lower the defense of that, lower the defense of the laser thing. I think we're doing pretty well there. Might even get the, uh... There we go, get it with a knife a little bit. <laughs> Just hit it with the other uh, knife that I can kind of control around a little bit. And yeah, we're still full health right now, which is really good. Remember, we do need to, to beat him before it turns to, uh... Hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can kill his laser thing. No, I don't think so. Not right now, at least. Hold on. Let's get the Daedalus Stormbow back out. The Holy Arrows. There you go. He just lost a limb right there. He's spinning around. You see, he's rather still right now, which is great. We might be able to kill him. Look, look at his health just dropping right now. Tons of stars and stuff hitting him right now. Uh, let's hit him. Oh, we hit him with the... E oh, hold on, hold on. We still have Eagle Bullet? No, we ran out of Eagle Bullet. So we, we, it, it just displays one if it's using the endless musket pouch thing, so that sucks. But I think he's, like, right above us, so... As long as we're able to rain down stars on top of him, there he is right there. Hit him with a bunch of stars. Trying to... Nah, the thing is that it's, it's kind of delayed, so if I if I try and, like, track him and stuff, it's not going to work too well. Oh, now, now he lost all of his limbs. So now we just have to hit his head. He's almost... Now he's dead! There he goes! He's dead now! Nice! Awesome! We got the hallowed bars, we got the gold and silver and stuff. I think his stuff is like all the way up here. There we go. There's there, there. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Soul of Fright. 29 of those? 29 of those. Okay, so now we should be able to make that sword. What was it called again? The Dark... Um, man, I forgot what it was called. The soul. It, it wasn't Soul. I, I keep thinking Soul of Night and stuff like that right now, but, uh, where was it? It was over here in Melee Weapons. The Sharp... Oh, yeah. True Knight's Edge. I think that's what we're trying to make right now. So if we get the other souls, Soul of Fright, Soul of Sight, if we get those... Come over to a uh, anvil right here. Hold on. Let's see. Where would it be? Oh, yeah. I can make the enchanter. I might as well do that because I just got a falling star and a heckin' worm guy right there so I can get that. We already have Excalibur, right? Uh, how do we get the... Uh, let, me, let, me, let me talk to Tanner here. Hold on. Sharp Knight's Edge. Yeah, we have everything. Hold on. Mithril Anvil. 20 Soul of Fright. Uh, do we have that? Oh, did I get the same stuff? Okay, I've got... Wait, 48. Hold on. I'm missing one thing here. Soul of Fright. Soul of Might. There it is right there. I was missing the Soul of Might. I thought I got everything right there, but I didn't. Let's see. Is it here now? Oh, there it is. True Knight's Edge. Holy! 
So our current Knight's Edge is 76 melee damage. Average speed, average knockback, fast speed, average knockback. So it seems like it's a little bit slower. So maybe DPS wise, it's not. And remember, this one's upgraded. It's got sharp. So it's plus 14% damage. So it's up to 76 right there. It's probably like 60 something. Or maybe even 50 something normally. So holy egg. But this one's 166. That's, that's pretty good. It's just that it's average speed. So, you know, compared to 109 right there with insanely fast speed, the DPS of this thing is just crazy, you guys. But I am going to upgrade it because we do, or, you know, craft it because we do need to combine this together with the Excalibur thing or like true Excalibur or whatever it's called. How do I get that again? Hold on. Talk to Tanner again. So uh, I just had the pages pulled up, but I might as well talk to him. Hold on. 24 Chlor- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need to get the Chlorophyte because so I, I favored the Chlorophyte we have over here. We have three right now. I think it's, uh... How much is it for a bar? Is it three or four? Five. Okay, it's five. And I think it's six if you're using, like, if you're on, like, cons one, like, uh, like a Nintendo DS for some strange reason. It's, like, different. I have no idea why, but either way, we need to get mining over here. What I say, like, 40 or something like that? Maybe a little bit less considering we already have three on us right now. We still have worms crawling around. I might as well grab them. Be a little bit of bait. Especially, uh, because, oh, and speaking of such, there's another fallen star right there. Oh, wait, what was, was the bait power of, uh, 35% of the Enchanted Night? So it does make sense to upgrade those to the Enchanted Night Crawlers. What, do we even have a lot of those? I think we may have some worms over here. If we do, I'm not seeing them. Uh, no, we did not. It didn't stack up with any. So we do have a couple worms right there. Maybe maybe I already turned them all into uh, enchanted night crawlers, but I'm pretty sure we have a lot of those fallen stars over here, right? Yeah, we have 156. So we can make two more enchanted night crawlers with the uh, probably just in our inventory or maybe out of work. Here we go. There we go. Boom. Now we have three right there. So if I go fishing again and try and get that last blood moon creature. Uh, to try and spawn in, then that's going to be great because we have uh, some great bait powder right there. And I think we have an even more bait over at our ocean base where our, uh, our our thing is actually set up for like fishing and stuff. So put up the extra stuff over there that we don't need right now. We have 30 more hallowed bars, which is great and all, but I don't know what I'll use it on right now. So I'll go put it up for right now, though. There you go. We got some pumpkins randomly. <laughs> I'll see if I can quick stack. There, quick stack. And I guess I'll put the uh, Excalibur True Knight's Edge. You know what? Let's get the DPS meter. There it is right there. Kind of curious what the True Knight's Edge is like. DPS wise against the training dummy. Oh, whoa, what is that? So we're at about high 500s, mid 500s right now. DPS It's going down though. Guess I'm not getting that many. How, how, how good is it getting crits? 17% and that's with all the buffs and stuff alongside me as well. Yeah, what is that little effect? Does it say what it does? No, it doesn't say what it does. Let me, uh, let me go look this up though. Let's go see what that effect could possibly be. It looks like some sort of like poison or something like that. Ooh, doing more damage and firing a glowing spinning green sword projectile called a night beam in the direction of the cursor. Hold on, so if I... Is that is that supposed to be sword shape? Am I on the right thing right here? True Knight's Edge. Yeah, that's True Knight's Edge. Oh, we need an upgrade, by the way. This is just completely stocked, too, by the way. It's crazy. Oh, and apparently it's also... Yep, it is auto-swing, which is great. Now, does that green effect actually do anything? I think... Oh, oh, oh! There was that projectile right there. Ooh, okay. So it does do the green sword swing that we saw, but it only does it whenever there's an enemy that we're shooting at. So yeah, look at that. Ooh, pretty decent. And if I shoot at the, uh, oh yeah, I can, I can shoot at the, uh, the training dummy whenever I'm doing that. Interesting. And the sword, this is actually, this could be pretty powerful, you guys. Holy heck. It does basically the same DPS, if not maybe even more, even though it is completely ranged. It's, it's similar to the demonic flying knife. Yeah, what was the DPS of this skin? About half. The true Knight's Edge maybe is going to replace the Demonic Flying Knife, but the thing is, the Demonic Flying Knife, I can control it all over the place while the uh, true Knight's Edge, is, it, 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 it goes into a straight line, right? Hmm. Okay, maybe that's why it was, uh, because I'm so close to the train dummy, it just immediately hit the dummy there, and it just looked like a big cloud of smoke, so that's why. Okay, seems like it always shoots the, the sword there, though, which is great. And it does, uh, very comparable, uh, DPS compared to the... The sword over here, the Demonic Flying Knife, which already has plus 15% damage and 5% critical strike. So let's go talk to whoever this is now, Sarks. I don't even remember this guy spawning in with that name. <laughs> but uh, how much money do we have right now? Let's see. Oh yeah, an Excalibur. Does Excalibur have a thing? Like a, like a special thing, kind of like that green sword? Let's see, how much DPS does it do? Similar DPS, maybe a little bit less. Does it have a special ability? If it does, I'm not seeing it. Let me pull that up. Is this just, uh, yeah, this is just Excalibur. It's not true Excalibur or anything just yet. Okay, so it seems like the main thing of this is that it has a little bit of a glow whenever you swing it. Which we're not really noticing here because it's already well lit with all the torches and stuff. And uh, I don't know where I could actually test this out. Because uh, pretty much everywhere over here is pretty well lit. So, I don't know. Even underground isn't really that... Like, if I get rid of some torches, maybe. But, like, it, it lighten us up slightly. And I do have the light pet there too, as well. So, 
I doubt I'm maybe even notice anything with this. I might as well just put up the Excalibur right now, you know, while we're waiting until we're actually able to make the, uh, do we need to have, like, the, the nice, what, do we need the Zell Star Fury for anything? I think I remember people saying, uh, or, uh, just Star Fury. I think I remember people saying, yeah, you need that for, oh, yeah, you need it. Alongside the Terra Blade, the Meow Mirror, the Star Wraith, the Influx Waver, the Horseman's Blade, the Seedler, the Star Fury, which is what we have right now, the Beekeeper, Enchanted Sword, Copper Short Sword, to make the Zenith. Yeah, I completely forgot that this was a thing. Oh my gosh, there's a crazy demonstration of this Zenith thing that's playing. I'll play it on screen for you guys as well. This is insane. Holy. Too bad my recorder can't, uh, it only picks up gameplay, so I always have to edit in those things for you guys. <laughs> but either way, yeah, the Tree Knight's Edge. I think we're going to be replacing the Demonic Flying Knife with that, so there you go. Oh yeah, we never even upgraded it right there, I completely forgot about that. So I suppose I'll put it up. Is it a material, though? Can I use it to, uh, no, it's not, unfortunately. So I'll, I'll still keep it, though. I, I think it's still technically melee. Like, if I come over here and sort, yeah, it's all the same color, it seems, right there, so that's, that's good. Either way, let's go over here and see if we can upgrade our, the True Knight's Edge, into something else. 16 gold. And we have two plat- oh, sheesh, two platinum, and we have 15 gold in our inventory randomly. It's probably from the, the Skeletron Prime battle itself, so let's reforge. Damaged! Nope. Massive! Ooh, now does that change the projectile as well? If the projectile is massive... Uh... Oh my gosh, look at how huge the actual sword is now, though. I think the projectile is the same size. Like, looking at how massive that- how much is that? 18% size, golly! I don't know, I might reforge it again. Like, I don't- I don't see us- Unless I'm like- like- Like, oh my gosh, well, yeah, right here. Well, it's hard to tell because we have that projectile, you know? Oh, I guess if anything, we'll attack a little bit faster like that. So we do have that bit of range now. Hmm. Do I want to have that or do I want to have more? Like, if I'm- if I'm getting swarmed by enemies, it could be very, very useful. Hmm. Maybe. And it does have auto-swing, which is great. It does have this projectile, which is also- also pretty good. And it doesn't use any mana or anything like that when I do it, it just does it straight up. How expensive is it to upgrade? Because usually whenever you get a good upgrade, it's still pretty expensive, but if you get a bad upgrade, and you try and reforge, it's relatively cheap. 23 gold if I do it again. Golly. We're- we're just below 2 platinum right now, though. I'm kind of thinking about doing it. Like, what is the, uh, let me look up what the game says is the best True Knight's Edge, uh, enchantment. Usually it says it. The best not of modifier is Legendary, which I assume, you know, upgrades, like, pretty much everything, so. Ah, uh, 23 gold, that's a lot of gold, but what, what else are we going to spend it on, right? So I guess we'll do it. Oh, broken! Uh-oh, that's terrible. Superior! Whoa! Plus 10% damage, plus 3% critical strike, plus 10% knockback! Knockback? I didn't even think about this. Seems like an amazing thing, more worms, to have on this sword. Because we could knock him back, and then we could hit him with a projectile. And I assume the projectile is even able to do knockback as well and just keep him at bay constantly. How, how, how good is everything now? Average speed, average knockback. So it brought the knockback up, and uh, no speed upgrade for the superior, but it's still pretty fucking good though. Plus 10% damage up to 175 right now, not bad. And that's alongside of our other uh, buffs and stuff that we have over there, which is crazy. Hmm. I think we're going to keep it as is. Let's favorite that to make sure we don't lose it. Favorite the, uh, the Glorify Ore as well, so I can kind of keep track of that. I guess we could, uh, go put up the Worms and other stuff up here. There you go. And, uh, the extra potions. There you go. Oh, and we're out of, uh, Ecor Bullets. Oh, do we not have room for the potions? I guess not. Ooh. Uh, we got a lot of honey. Oh, yeah, I need I People were saying, you know, when you make a new boss arena, you should definitely cover the bottom of it in honey. I don't know if I'm able to do it with this. I think it's a consumable. Or, you know, it says it's a consumable, but I assume the only way to use it from now on is just to, you know, eat it. I don't think you could, like, pour it. Maybe you use, like, a bucket of, uh, honey or something like that to actually transport honey to the battle arena. So that's something I'm going to have to do from the jungle bond. Which, speaking of such, I want to go back there, like, right now. Try and find more of the chlorophyte ore as well as more life fruits. So let's definitely do that. But I do need to see what I can get rid of to, uh, you know what? Regular healing potion? Yeah, let's get rid of those. I guess I can keep those in my inventory just to kind of use them up and not just like throw them away or sell them or something like that, right? But, uh, let's get that, let's get some sharpening, and we have even more worms over here. See? I need to keep my eye out for these worms. We have a lot of, uh, of, of the stars and stuff like that that we could use to enchant them into, uh, enchant- Do I still have a DPS meter? I do not. Oh, did I want to make more Ecor bullets? I'm not facing any bosses anytime soon, so I don't think we really need it, you know? We have the, uh, the endless musket pouch thing, so we could use that whenever we, uh, want to use the, uh, the, 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 what's it called again? The Mega Shark? 
Yeah, the Mega Shark. Unpleasant Mega Shark, that is. <laughs> Let's head down a little bit. I also got a comment from someone saying, hey, you missed a... Oh, yeah, how far away was this? Should I have gotten on the... Let's get on the Unicorn, at least. Oh, well, there it is, like, right there. <laughs> saying that I did miss a Life Fruit here. Might even want to zoom out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but... Apparently, I missed a Life Fruit. Relatively high up here while we're exploring around. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled, though. Because, uh, like, I, I think I even said this, maybe even during that episode, is... Oh, there it is right there. If you're not looking for it, it's easy to miss. Boom. Life fruit right there. Another five life permanently up to 415. Nice. So that's... The, I think that's the one that they were saying, hey, you missed that one, Ada. So definitely don't want to miss any more of these. Especially here where we just literally fall and just skip over any more life fruit, so... Not seeing any there. Any over there. It's, it's just that whenever it's dark over there, you can't really see it, you know? That, that's a chest we've already uh, looted, so... Let me get more chlor- oh, is- is- oh, that's not a thing. I was wondering, like, is a- is that, like, the beginning process of a life fruit, perhaps? And it'll- it'll be, like, bearing fruit, I guess you could say, a little bit later on, but I- I don't know if it actually does that, but... Either way, let's just go over here- oh, and I- oh, another thing I forgot to mention! Is that I read comments, speaking of comments about the life fruit and chlorify ore and all that kind of stuff. People were saying, hey, if you get chlorify ore, and surround it in mud, which I think this is here. Is this is this mud? Like if I if I mine this, yep, mud blocks. I can basically grow chlorophyte ore, but it's like it's like a really slow process. So may I grab some of this? May I put like one or two or uh, I don't know a few chlorophyte? Oh, oh, it's into the water now. Whoops, on a worm guy. Nice, my spiders took care of him. Or just spider? I think the uh, no, we still have the bewitching. Yeah, I, I re-upped on that. I forgot about that. Whoops. Although, I don't know if it might have ended in... There we go, now we have two of them for sure that time. Any down here, though? Oh, a Violet Husk and some other stuff up here. But yeah, I definitely, uh... Oh, what was I saying just a moment ago? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh yeah, we could do, we could definitely grow... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We could definitely grow some of those... Chlorify ore, apparently, but it's like a very slow process, and it requires mud. And that's probably why... We're seeing a lot of Chlorify ore surrounded by mud here in the jungle. Like, the whole jungle has chlorify ore as its, like, main dirt, like, tile, I guess you can describe it as. There you go. Get rid of that stuff. It seems like the projector's pretty good at getting, like, rid of vines and stuff, which is really good. There you go. And, oh my gosh! We got a crit right there for 540 and one shot at that thing. Another life fruit right there. I don't know how we, like, got that thing. I must have hit one down here with a projectile and it dropped, but we got another life fruit right there up to 420 by laser! Hey, duh! And demonetized me, too. <laughs> oh, anything else up here, though? See, this is, this is a really good, uh, oh man, a spider guy right there. Which I think, uh, I don't remember, dude, dude. Oh, is that a, no, it's not a heart thing right there, heart container thing. What is this stuff? Why can't I mine it? Rich mahogany. Ooh, is this like a giant tree that I'm like digging into right now? It might be. There you go, hit these guys. I don't know if these guys drop, uh, souls. Like, soul of light, soul of, or, uh, probably not soul of light here, honestly. Probably soul of night. Oh, whoops, that's the glow. Oh, yeah, 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 I need to use the glow sticks. You know what? Forget about the bug net. Where are the glow sticks at? on here? Here we go. Forget about the bug net, at least for right now. I'm going to keep the uh, the glow sticks out. That's going to be really invaluable to try and find these chlorify ore. Because it does glow everything. Maybe even... Uh, oh, that's the big tree over there that we saw. But I, th I don't know if it actually glows. Oh, man, another chest right there. If it glows... What is it called? No, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> I'll put it at the bottom of the screen if I can remember. Hey, look, Lucky Hermes boots right there. I guess I'll loot all that. Uh, I, I am so distracted right now, guys. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, well, I can, like, go up the tree right here, which is pretty cool. And life fruit over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, life fruit. I was about to say, yeah. I don't know if the, uh, the, the, the Spelunker glow stick can, uh, detect life fruit. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know if up there... Is that a, what is that? I don't know what that is. And it's glowing over there, too. I don't think it's a life fruit thing, though, unfortunately, so that sucks, but... Yeah, let me continue trying to get more chlorophyte ore. I think we might be like in the- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A lot of creatures down there. Might be just in the straight up long, wrong place to find chlorophyte ore. Because it seems like it might be need to be like rather deep or something. There's gold there. That's where Spelunker's glow stick was already thrown, so. That's why those are all glowing there. Yeah, that's gold. A lot of gold over here, though. There's some silt, I believe, there. But I'm going to skip over that at least for right now. But so we get to skipping over stuff. Let me just continue. Uh... Oh, man, a torch. What in the world? Uh, well, I'm not seeing any more life fruit or anything like that. I assume I've already mined this. Or, uh, I got everything but the Danger Sense Potion, which could be pretty useful to recall. Oh, man, another heart, or, uh, life crystal right there. Almost missed it. Holy heck. The glow stick back out. Because this thing is 
If I'm not mining, I might as well have this thing out. And there you go. Try and find any good. Oh, what was that? Ooh, what is that biome? Why is it like red? Or is it just red? I think it's just red because there's like a weird plant over there or something. What is that thing? I wonder if I could. Might as well dig through all this stuff. Silt. Go all that. What is that thing? Gonna mine it. Uh oh! Uh oh, that is bad. Plantera! Already? Uh oh, this is bad news bears, you guys. Uh, what is Plantera? What am I looking for here? Where is she? Uh. I. Is. Oh my gosh! It's a giant, like, uh, plant thing, obviously. <laughs> Let's get a buff! Let's get a buff! There we go, hit her with that. You know what? Get the Tiger Claws. Maybe we'll do some good DPS and try and take her down this way. Oh my gosh, we're taking her down so fast right now. We're taking a lot of damage, though, so we need to heal up. Boom, up to full health. Taking her down with the, uh, the Tiger Claws right now. Holy heck! She's- Oh my gosh, I don't know if we're going to be able to survive through all this, though. We might- No! Oh my gosh! Plantera defeated instantly! Holy heck! I wasn't even looking for her! I wasn't even doing anything and I found her and killed her first try! What?! What is this game?! <laughs> I'm probably getting comments freaking the heck out like, how did you do that? I don't even know how I did it right there! These tiger claws are amazing! Why can I see everything right now? What happened? Thorns, danger sense. Oh yeah, I, I guess I took my danger sense and... Oh man, the thorns! I probably took that one accident because I hit the B button for buffs. And I think danger sense is glowing all of... The, the spiky vines that can damage us. Of course, the hornet's nests and stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. We casually just walked in, found a plantero spawning doohickey, spawned her in, defeated her first try, accidentally didn't even prepare anything. Is that cobalt randomly? I think it is. And we did it. Holy. But what does this even mean now, though? Because it wasn't Plantera supposed to be like, oh, it's like a big transitional boss, like, uh, you'll... Because I keep reading, like, on the wiki, oh, post-Plantera this sort of stuff. I was, I haven't even had enough time to look into, like, what this even means. Jungle Slime right there killed. Holy. I'm still looking for Chlorophyte, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad I switched to the... We probably could have killed her a lot faster if I switched to the Tiger Claws a little bit sooner, honestly. Like, holy heck. That was insane. Flare gun flares. Omega the Cyborg has a fire. Wait, who is... Is that a... Is that an NPC? I was about to say, is that another heckin' boss battle? Oh, is that it? Omega the... Sp oh, whoops. What is a cyborg? Well, I I know what a cyborg is, but like, NPC-wise, where are they at? Seems like it is an NPC. And we've got tons of spaces over here, so surely it moved in. It is! Omega the Cyborg moved in between uh, the party girl and the mechanic. Thankfully, no. Oh, man. The oh, yeah. I forgot the heckin' tax collectors in my... <laughs> I forgot these in my heckin' room. Uh, but I, I guess we'll cut this, this this adventure short, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, man. More Clorify ore right there. Ooh. I think that is. Is that? It's hard to tell because the danger sense is glowing things uh, red. So I don't know if that's green or if that's, like, yellow. But it, like, has a... I don't know. But either way, let's mine it with a drill and we'll find out. Oh, yep. Clorify ore right there. What I say we need, like, 40 or something like that? Uh, hold on. There you go. I really need to use this, this, uh, this, this, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. I'm so, like, I, 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 I'm off today. That's, that's just how I'll describe it. Like, the Plantera thing took me off guard. I was getting super distracted, like, mining and looking at everything over here. And multitasking is just terrible today. Like, I, 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 I need, like, 40 Glorify Ore to upgrade the Excalibur up to Excalibur, uh, true Excalibur. Kind of like we have the true, uh, Knight's Edge thing right now. I don't know what we're up to right now. We're up to 31. Maybe worth it to stay here for a little bit longer, see if we can find some more of that. It does seem like it- Oh, wait, hold on. Another granite biome. Another granite biome for us here. I might as well get the, uh, the true Knight's Edge back out, speaking of such. Where's this lead? Obviously, it won't lead us to kill that thing in one hit. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hollow bones. Detonator thing over there. Plunger thing. What is that down there? Hold on. Vine there. Is that a statue? I don't know what this stuff is. I'm seeing, like, a lot of statues, which, by the way, I've- Gotten con comments from people saying, hey, if you want money, sell statues, or... No, hold on. It wasn't sell stat- you, you you could use statues to, like... I, is it, 50th Skeleton Archer, what? Oh, we kill way more than that by now. But people were saying, hey, you could use statues to either attract creatures to you, or, like, just straight up spawn them in. 
Oh, this even uh, uses like even like shines light, which is pretty helpful. There's more uh, chlorophyte right there. Is that right? Yep. More chlorophyte right there. So that's good. Might want to dig through that. There you go. Although we've got a lot of mud here, which I don't know. I'm kind of like on. Uh, oh, 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 whoops. I'm on the fence about. Hold on. Let's go to the top. Get some more oxygen. Come on. Oh, there you go. I'm kind of on the fence. Do I leave this chlorophyte here? And let it spread slowly, or mine it now. It's just that if I don't, if I mine it now, and then I, I can make it grow at home, right? Like, what's the point of just leaving it here, right? Is that more of it right there? I think it is. Perfect. All right, this should be more than enough. We have 42 right now, the number of the universe. I guess we'll just get a little bit more. We need 40 to upgrade the thing to true Excalibur. Whatever we have left over, we're gonna we're gonna uh, surround with mud. I might have to look into like more specifics, like oh, you need to use this much mud per glorify ore to be like the most efficient. And then we, we could kind of test that out. Maybe use that underground area by uh, under our main base and kind of figure out what's going on down there, you know. But I think we're pretty well set here. We're up to 63 right now. We have plenty of extra. Oh my gosh, we found the what? I guess it's just a random lava pool here. What in the world? Uh, I guess I can get some obsidian. Do I need obsidian for anything? I don't think so. Hold on. Uh, where can I get some oxygen? Right here? Yep, here we go. Whew. There's a little bit more chlorophyte ore right there. It's like really close by, so I might as well just grab it, right? So there you go, hit that thing. I don't know, what I hit it right there? Oh, I placed down the- Oh my god, the heckin' flame burst thing works underwater. Oh, I did get a comment from someone saying, hey, the flame burst can be reforged. Uh, and- and- What are they called again? The- The, the things you can set down like the flame burst. All of them can be reforged. So perhaps that's one way of, uh, let's just teleport home now, though. There may be something I could have- Oh my gosh, someone's celebrating with Chinese lanterns again, nice. Whoa. Like I was saying, we could apparently reforge the, uh, the, the flame burst. I want to go see if that's true. It is! Hey, look at that! Very helpful people in the comments. How much wood do we have right now? We have 18, and then, well, about, like, 100, or, one platinum and, like, close to 80-something-ish gold right there. Nothing too crazy if I just lose 8 gold here, but... Deranged! That's terrible. Deadly! Plus 10% damage, plus 10% speed. I think I'm going to keep that. That thing is pretty nice. I'm going to keep that. And speaking of such, let's put the Deadly Flame Burst up here. Boom. I wonder if there's a uh, modifier to make it last longer. Because I know after a while they despawn. Let's go see what this cyborg guy does. Omega. What's this happen? It's too many other life forms. I'm like, okay, so it seems like, yeah, he wants to be on his own. But where? I guess we'll check the, uh, the, the NPCpedia or whatever it's called. Rocket launchers and stuff. What? Nanites. Proximity mine launcher. Oh, what? oh, I accidentally just bought something. Oops. Uh, slime. Get rid of that. Sure. Put it in the trash. How much was that? What was that thing I just bought right there? Murderous grenade launcher! Wait, no, I-, I Oh, I got that one from, uh... I think I got, I got that one from Plantera or something like that. What was that thing? Oh, it was just 55 silver for the dry rocket. Okay. And rocket 3 and then rocket 1. Proximity and mine launcher. Then the nanites. I don't know what this stuff is, honestly, you guys. I need to look it all up. There's so much going on. So much- so much new stuff just happened. I may even just end off the recording right here, and I'm like, such a huge event just ended. It makes sense for me to end off the recording here, read you guys' comments, read you guys' feedback and, and reactions. Oh, we got the temple key! Yeah, now we could. That was a thing I completely forgot about. Now we can go to the heckin', uh, the golem temple or whatever it's called? Because remember, this door right here was locked. Oh, and also oh, another thing. We should be able to get our hallowed key from our piggy bank. Where is it? There it is right there. Go to the dungeon, I think. I think it's this. Either that or you, we have to wait until after the uh, golem or something like that, I don't know. But somewhere over here is like a hallowed chest that is locked, like maybe up here. There's a hallowed chest that's locked, needs a hallowed key to be opened, and now we can open it up because we defeated a planet terror. Either that or, like I said, maybe you have to wait until after the golem or something like that. But I'm going to put it up inside of here just so we know where it is at any, uh, at any time. I think that's ammo right there, right? Yep, ammo. So I'll put that up over here in the ammo chest. See, I'm, I'm really liking how organized... And there's the mud blocks. There's the chlorophyte ore. I guess I'll upgrade the uh, Excalibur right now. So we'll make as many we need. We need... How, how many? I forget. Oh, we are... Yeah, okay. We have 16 chlorophyte ore right there. Or uh, chlorophyte bars, that is. I think we need uh, 24. So let me try and get up to like 24. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, if we have 16 right now, we just need to get... And there we go, 24 of those. Is that enough to get the Excalibur Part 2, the Electric Boogaloo? Oh, is that it right there? Yep, true Excalibur, yep, boom, yep, 24 Chlorify Bar, so that's good. So I guess we'll get that, and then we'll use that, combined together with the True Knight's Edge, combined together with a Broken Hero Sword we need to get after something. Uh, I need to go- Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, what in the world? Why are there- Where's my net at? 
There's right there. Why are there enchanted worms on the ground now? Yeah, well, they're just all over the place, N naturally. What? No way. Why is this a thing? I'm not complaining. Is it? If this was a thing for the Chinese lantern thing, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed it before now. Because we've had this event happen dozens of times. This must be a post-Plantera... Oh god, we have a werewolf. This must be like a post-Plantera sort of thing here. That's going on, because I do not remember actual enchanted night crawlers just crawling around randomly right now. And more fallen stars right there, nice! Huh, a lot of fallen stars, whoa! Look at this! That's a ton of them right there, holy! There's my spider guy. Oh, and by the way, I also got a comment from someone saying, hey, actually multiple people from, uh, like two episodes ago or something like that, whenever we're working on the plants over here. There's so much stuff I had to catch up on between episodes, you guys, it's crazy. But you guys were saying, hey, if you plant the seeds, like, a tile above the planter box thing, that's how you do it. So, I guess we'll test it out real quick before we actually, uh, end off the episode. How it seeds. What am I looking for? Day blooms? Yes, day, I, uh, I think it's day bloom, yes. So let me put that up. We'll quick stack a bunch of stuff real quick. Boom. Let's go put up the chlorophyte ore. There we go. So we could, uh, we could work on that a little bit later. We have, uh, there's some silk. I guess I'll go process that real quick. Tin ore, amber, and a little bit of silver right there. Nothing too crazy. Let's go put all that up. Get rid of the cobweb because I don't need that trash. Godly true Excalibur. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I just noticed that. Is that the best? Uh, where is true Excalibur on this list? Is that the best modifier for it? It sounds like it. it's red too, which is really cool. No, the best modifier is legendary. Okay. But godly. Oh my gosh. Plus 14% damage. Plus 5% critical strike. Plus 15% knockback. What is the true Excalibur compared to the world? Oh, it also has a projectile, but it's like a dagger and it's very fast. I do not have my DPS meter right now, so. I guess we could check. Oh my gosh, this episode is going to be so fucking long. I'm going to have to split this into another episode or something. How many times am I like, oh, I need to end the episode off right now, you guys? Oh, guarding spiked. We have another name. I guess I could just get rid of that one. Lucky Ermy's boot. Okay, I'll sell that one as well. Man, we have so much hacking stuff here, you guys. What was I doing just a second ago? Oh yeah, DPS meter. There it is right there. Perfect. Right, let's go check how, how much the daggers themselves do. 800, 700, 600. I guess it kind of... I don't know. It, it seemed like the DPS was like double that. Why did it go down, though? Doesn't seem like it goes up or down when uh, you're a little bit closer or further away. It seems like it's rather the same. We're right next to it. 600 right there, DPS. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just got a lot of crits that time or something. What, what, what is the, uh... Yeah, the plus 5% critical strike, so we're up to 19% right there. 120 melee damage. 175 with a superior Knight's Edge. Oh my gosh. True Knight's Edge, that is. Holy heck. A thousand damage per second right now with the True Knight's Edge. Oh my gosh. Auto swing. Big sword. You know, medium-sized sword, I guess you could say. Medium, medium melee range, I guess you could say. Well, this one's like straight up, like right next to you melee range with the tiger claws. It's, it, it is definitely a keeper there, you guys. Holy heck. The true nice edge, that is. I don't know about the godly true Excalibur. Definitely want to keep it, because obviously we're going to make it to... Uh, oh, God! What? Jolly Jamboree. We got a random party right there. What is that even for? What is Jolly Jamboree for? What you're celebrating doesn't matter. Just throw a party anyway. Or already. <laughs> I, I, I guess just randomly throwing a party. Boom, there you go. Oh, uh, did we get any other uh, achievements over here? Like, there's Jolly Jamboree, Boots of the Hero. Oh yeah, that was like a uh, that was an achievement they added randomly, like pretty late on. We already had the Terra Spark boots at the time, Dread Nautilus. But either way, we have a we have a party going on right now. We have everyone wearing heckin' hats. <laughs> I, I, oh yeah, I wanted to test the seeds thing. So uh, if I I don't know how to get how to get rid of the plants here. I don't know. If we use the seeds like right above the planter thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see what you guys are saying now. Okay, so it's not all for loss here with the day blooms, a little growing there. So now we just got a tiny- am I zoomed in? No, I'm not. We just got a little tiny stalk right there, a little, little, little... Stockling? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Where it's, it's just starting to grow. So maybe off camera, between this episode and next episode, I get the other stuff like the shiver thorns, the other stuff. Plant those down, crimson. I think that- no, that's a different thing. Fire blossom, that's another thing, I know that. There's the day blooms. I'll start planting down all this stuff, uh, there's shiver thorn. Deathweed, I think that's another one. Moonglow, that's another one. I'll plant those down in the respective boxes over there, and of course, over time, perhaps, we'll actually get them to grow properly instead of having random plants like this, I suppose. So it seems like this is actually going to be useful instead of, uh, just 
decorative and cosmetic, I suppose, but either way, I need to end the episode, like, right now, or else I have, like, an hour-long episode, even though I know you guys love hour-long episodes. But either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button that about my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode, because next time we come back with some more Terraria, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We have mud blocks. I may even... We have random mud blocks over here that we can stack up. No, we do not. I might, I might put the mud blocks over here just so I can kind of keep track of it. And then we can combine them together with the uh, the chlorified over here. And then try and get it to grow chlorified over time. And of course we have the golem boss battle to look forward to. We have a heckin' opening up the hallowed chest over here to look forward to. We have a lot of stuff to look forward to now that we randomly defeated Plantera just out of the blue. Didn't even plan for it. Just boom, there you go, she's dead. <laughs> So, a lot of stuff to look forward to, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there.